All right, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook. We have not really got a catch and cook that we've actually had a success. We've all, we've always failed with our catch and cooks. We had the too big of a fire last time. The other time we just didn't bring enough stuff. I don't know, we, we wanna try to nail it this time and get it a really good one. So we're gonna try to do that today. We're gonna be doing the same thing Probably some bluegill, maybe a white perch if we're lucky. We'll just have to see how it goes, but we're gonna do the fishing portion now. All right, so first off, we're gonna start by throwing the net, trying to get some shad, get some bait. That was good. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. All right, top the bottom. Pull up. Just got a lot of food to let home. Anything special? Crappie in there? Just got a whole bunch of blue shell. Not even one shed. Look at all these blue Look at all of them. There's so many. Too many bluegills here. That's why none of them are getting big. There's still one more in there. Jeez. All right, we're gonna get all these guys back, and we're gonna throw it again and get some shad. All right, here we go. Another throw. All right, that came I feel like they hang along that wall right there. It's probably the closest I'm gonna be able to get to that wall. We were throwing the net, we couldn't get anything in the net, so we're just gonna have to make do with these worms. It's a good thing we have them because we should be able to get a, some bluegill, maybe even a catfish or two. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I got my worm on there, we're just gonna have to cast it up there. Like, probably like right in the middle, anywhere actually. There's bluegill crawling all over the place in here. Then Luke's down there catching a few, and we're up here catching some on live bait. All right, let's see if we can get one here. Oh, that's a bite. There we go, hooked up. First fish of the day. Hopefully it's a good size. Oh my gosh, I think he's too small. He looks pretty small. I don't know, he's nice, he's, he's good. It's good size. All right, so we're gonna bleed him off camera because you know how YouTube likes blood and knives and all that good stuff. All right, we're gonna bleed this guy off camera and then we're gonna catch some more. So what we're gonna do is, Luke's down there, he's fly fishing, he's catching a lot more than us. So he's gonna go get like, probably about 10 to 15. And then we're gonna go start the fire now because we're not catching anything up here on the worms. We got that one nice one, the first fish of the day. But we're really not catching anymore, so now we're gonna start the fire, get it going real nice. So when Luke gets over here, we can just flay those fish and put them on the skillet. Here we go, we got oven number one. I guess, it, no, grill number one. We got grill number two over there, but this is my favorite one. We got, we just gotta clean it out. We do it every time. Gotta clean out all this crap so then we have a good area to cook on. We're gonna be doing it a little bit different this time because Lainey actually has a skillet here. Bring that skillet over here. She got, a, she has a small cast iron skillet, just a little one like this, a little square one. It's gonna make it a lot easier here. Make it a lot easier for us. And then some tin foil. But we did bring some tin foil to put over the top of it so it helps it cook faster. All right, so I think we're just about pretty cleaned out here. So we're gonna go in the woods and get some sticks. Yeah, Twig's caught. We're good now. Yeah, Twig's now caught inside business. of it. That was a good idea. There we go, now we're in business. All right, you got any more twigs in the room? This crap's all wet. All right, there we go. We, got, we finally got it going. All right, now we really got it going. I'm not sure if you guys can quite see that, but we really got it going now. Let's bring it down a little bit. We really got it going, finally. All right, so we'll get back to you when we start putting, getting everything ready to cook. All right, Luke just got back. That's what he got on the fly. Oh, some really nice 
bluegill. We're gonna flay them up and then start cooking. All right, here we go. We just got all of our flays. Luke's down there fishing a little bit. I think he's gonna get some for him. But we got a lot of flays here. That's just, I just rinsed them out so there's still a little bit of water left. But, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these out. Get that really good, nice and good. Let's get something to cover it. So look through the screen. So that you can, let's find this starts right here. So then it traps the heat and cooks faster. That should be enough. Let's make a little cover. There. It's right here. Then let's get our butter. Which one was the cooking knife? Uh, they're both washed, so it doesn't matter. I'm we'll putting right. in the washing machine. All right. So look we'll at this. Let's get a lot of butter in there. It's probably good. Let's get a bit more, and then once it starts to cook a little bit. Then once it starts to, all right, we're gonna put this on now. All right, so we're just gonna let this melt like it should. It's gonna melt fast. It's gonna melt pretty good. All right, so let's put this in there. Then where's that glow? Something else really cool that. This is probably the uh, Where did uh, it? Right here. I got this. Oh. Uh -huh. Just so you can put your hand in that. Right, there we go. Now that's going to start to melt. It's not hot yet right there. That's hot. That's so hot. All what? Right, there we go. Let's just let this melt a little bit longer. Right Did you there. touch the? Yeah, I know. No, I mean, like, just right there is hot. I know. I like burned myself. I'm gonna have to put the glove on. Yeah, that's what I told you to do. Just let that burn a little bit. Not burn, but just like melt. Probably gonna have to do quite a few like different like sessions. I guess you could call it like. Not gonna be able to cook it all at once. We have a lot of fish. Probably would have had to do that same thing if we were using. Stuff. Man, after all these times, we keep forgetting to bring plates. So that is gonna be hot right there. All right, that's gonna start to that's gonna start the scissor right there. All right, we'll get back to you when we're ready to put the fish on the skillet. As you can see, it's starting to sizzle. Now we're gonna get these fish and we're gonna drop a few flays in there. All right, look at these nice bluegill flays. Oh yeah, it's starting to sizzle now. There we go, we'll start with these bigger ones, I guess. There you go. See how many we're gonna be able to do at a time. I don't think I can really do that many. I almost touched that. That would have been bad. I think that's it. These are going to cook fast. We're going to dry. Fire needs more wood. No, it doesn't. It's fine. It's plenty hot. All right. So now while these are cooking on this side, let's get the cover. I think it's gonna need the cover, but we we'll just put it on there. Give that a little bit while we're doing it. While that's cooking, let's slice up this lemon into like I don't know. We'll just cut the end off and. I don't know, just like little, like probably about fourths, I guess. 
because we're gonna need to do this a few times. Like that, I guess, fourth. Something like that. Just get it so that it's not touching the ground. There we go. All right, let's check on the fish. They're probably almost done. Just that. Flip them over. Pretty close. Just flip them. That one's like basically done. All right. Everything's starting to come together now. Flip them. We need tongs. Alright, so now we're gonna take the skittle, skittle, the split, the skillet off. Take off the fire, it's pretty much done. It smells really good. Alright, here we go. First fish, look, it's got a, a glaze of lemon on it. <laughs> it's awesome, this looks so good. It's like glazed with butter and lemon. Alright. I bet you if we, let's put them on now. Let's that, you could like cook it right here. I wanna put more butter on there. So here we go with the second batch of fish. Just throw a bunch oh, on, you can just like was, mix it all up. That was a big piece right there, that was a nice ego. Alright, let's see if we got a little piece. Right there. Let's get one more maybe. Maybe one more, let's see. Oh, I almost grabbed it. Don't want to do that. All right, here we go. Back on the fire. Oh, it's still hot. When everything is complete and done, we will get back to you with the finished product. This is the finished product we got right here. Don't have a fork or anything, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. That's really good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Not. Next time, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get these bluegill like this, but we're going to bring tortillas. So then we can make fish tacos. We're going to make fish tacos down here next time. Probably do that about probably next weekend or something like that. I know it's supposed to be a lot colder next week. Ooh, we might have crappie tacos if they're down here. That would be awesome. All right, so thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, you're going to want to subscribe because we've got a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not going to want to miss it. So thanks so much for watching. See ya.